there's a fun topic in math um, that revolves and uses this word right here called symmetry. And in this question, they ask you which figure, that means right here we have all these shapes, which of these shapes or figures shows a line of symmetry? What's nice about a line of symmetry, let's say I had a, um, I don't know, a square. Something like a square, I could fold it like this, and then I have a line of symmetry. And that means that this side right here might fold exactly onto this one right here. So any shape that has some line, and sometimes like this shape, you have many different lines that actually allow you to fold it in half, right? Any Anytime we have this, we have a line of symmetry. Because a line of symmetry, by definition, when, when you're folding, you're able to fold the shape exactly on itself. So like A is not a line of symmetry, because this line right does pass through one of these points out here, but the two pieces that are left are not exactly equal. And if they're not exactly equal, then you, you haven't found a line of symmetry. The same thing here with B, although it looks a little bit different and closer, but still, on closer inspection, you might notice that this side does not equal the other, right? So this is not a line of symmetry. C has a similar principle. If I draw a line like this, I am cutting maybe halfway as far as it is a distance from the bottom to the top, but a line of symmetry cuts two equal sized pieces, and these certainly are not. So C is out, and the only answer we have is D, actually. D is our answer. And I would say because this line right here comes straight down, and you can clearly see cuts the shape as a line of symmetry into two equal or congruent pieces, right? So D does actually have a line of symmetry. So there are lots of shapes. Start thinking about for any shape that you look at, where, where are the lines of symmetry and, and how many are there? All right, thanks a lot.